Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be reviewing this. This is the Smithsonian Jellyfish Tank. So it's basically that. I got this from Target. I paid, um, let me see, I paid, including taxes, without taxes, $24.99, $25. And with taxes is $27.05. $27.05 from Target and um, the reason why I got this is because I do have these other ones um, the regular ones that I already reviewed the rectangular ones but the problem with that is there are two problems with that one they use up a lot of room and number two you have to connect them this one is battery operated so that may be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your preference for me that's a good thing because I used up all of my outlets so I don't have any more outlets so we're gonna open it up and see what's inside Okay, before we start um, looking at that, let's look at the poster that you get. I think this is a poster. Could be the instructions. Oh, never mind, it's the instructions. So it should be fairly simple. I'm gonna re um, I'm gonna go over this off camera, and I'll let you know what's uh, any highlights, anything that you need to know about it. Okay, so I'm done reading this, and there are two highlights. Of course, you need the batteries, which are not included and also you're gonna have to squeeze out the air from the jellyfish that's um, not too surprising you're gonna add tap water and it does say that to include dishwashing liquid you're gonna add two drops of that and it says that if you don't do that it's not gonna work so let's carry on with this so let's take a look around Oh, I don't like the logo though. It doesn't look very elegant. I wish that they would have left it like that. That would have been better. But, um, it's nice and solid. There's no slack, no cracks. It's, um, high quality plastic. It is plastic, but it's very high quality. You can hit somebody and hurt them with, I mean, it's so solid. On the bottom, we have a battery compartment, which is secured by a screw, as you can see. So this is not meant for children, at least not without uh, parent supervision. So that's where the battery is going to go. And on the top, we have the cover. So we have this main cover, this is more like to make it look nice. And over here you have a rubber, I know you can't see that on camera, but it is a rubber stopper. Very nice, everything smells, this is high quality stuff, this is not cheap. And it does have a little bit of weight to it, which is good. And that's how that looks okay so let's get the screwdriver and let's open this up okay so here's the screwdriver that you're gonna need it is a 1.8 1 1.8 millimeter screwdriver so this is the type of screwdriver that you're gonna find in a um, glasses kit like this one and just um, keep that in mind that you probably don't have this at home but it is a 1.8 millimeter screwdriver so you go back here so now we're open like that so let's um you pull this tab and you pull it out like that and you will need three 1.5 volt batteries so that's double a the size double a 1.5 volts so let's go get those batteries okay so I am back so these are the type of batteries that you need it can be any brand it could be rechargeable if you want but as long as there's double A 
uh, 1.5 volts. Make sure this is off. Okay, so I did go and get the water. So this is regular tap water. I don't know what it looks like. It's dirty, but it's not dirty. It's clean and it's um tap water. And this is our um, liquid liquid uh, dish cleaner. So what we're going to do is fill it up and we're going to leave a, according to the instructions, we're going to leave a one centimeter gap of air and then we're going to add this. So by the way, I did add, if you see right here, this is a waterproof covering. So wherever you're going to do this, make sure it's safe to do. Don't do it on any antique furniture or anything that you don't want to get wet. So let's start. Let's add the water. And let's um, take out the ruler. So we have to leave one centimeter. So that's going to be right there. Okay, so that's one centimeter air gap. Let's get rid of the water. Okay, so now let's add those two drops. So let's see if I can do that right. One, two. Okay, so that's two drops. And remember when you follow the instructions, they're kind of weird. They go from here to here to here to left to right so kind of follow that order make sure you're doing it in the right order so now it says to put in the jellyfish and it says I'll push uh, squeeze out some of the air not that there's any air in there so let's um put them in there put that in there and here's the last one put it in there and the instructions say to put the cover so you don't see the surface that's nice and then we have one last thing to do and that's to turn it on so let me dim the lights for the big moment dun, 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 dun. roll the drums and let's power it up okay so I do see that they're not moving so um, we're gonna try to get those air bubbles because the instructions do say if, if they don't move it means that those air bubbles could be causing them to float so let's um turn it off again okay I'm gonna use this right here let's see if that helps It does help. Let's turn it on. Okay, so I do see one of them moving. The other two, they're just kind of hanging in there. It's very quiet, by the way. Let me stick something else in there. See, we're getting those air bubbles. That's why they float. They have to not float. You can see all the air bubbles coming out. Let's see if that does it. Okay, I think we got it working. So basically you do have to get a clean spoon like this one and kind of shake things around so, so all that um 
all those air bubbles will come out because the air bubbles will cause the jellyfish to flow to the top and not move and you want them to be suspended kind of in the middle so you want to get all you, you want to get rid of all the um air bubble okay so before we go let's do a little bit of an experiment let me go get a fish a, a, a fake fish of course and see if that would work with this i don't think so but we're gonna see we're gonna find out let's go get the fish okay so i just went over there and got this plastic fish these are intended for artificial fish tank so this is what happens when you turn it off if you're wondering some of them are on the bottom the other ones at the top but anyway we are going to add these two if they even fit in there and they do not let's see the other one the other one does fit but this one unfortunately oh there we go so that's good news so let me dim the lights and here's the big moment Okay folks, so we are outside and while this is not an outside tank, it's meant to be used indoors. I just came out here so that you can see it in daylight and kind of see all the details about it. So let's look. Let's go into the sunlight. Let's go back indoors. Okay, so as far as the information that we get, this paper right here, it's a single page. I'm just gonna show it to you. If you're interested, just press pause. Okay, folks, so we have reached the end of this review. Um, so overall, the Smithsonian jellyfish tank, do I recommend it? Absolutely, yes, 100%. Um, everything went well. I don't have any complaints. It's very high quality. It smells good. My whole room smells good. It smells like a brand new car. Um, the plastic is good plastic. It's very quiet. It's not going to wake you up at night it's not going to keep you awake and the jellyfish do float now as far as those fish that i added that were not part of the original um unit 
um, they are unpredictable so it's up to you if you want to do that or not but um, that is a separate issue that I that was my creativity but it's not part of the original unit like I said so I do recommend it a hundred percent it's cool that it's uh, battery operated so you don't have to worry about wires the bad thing about that is that you um, do have to switch batteries a lot as they die out or you can have a rechargeable battery that's up to you but overall I have no complaint the only complaint is probably this right here this logo it just looks ugly I wish they hadn't added that logo or, or I wish they would have made it either silver or smaller or something else you can cover it up with tape or maybe just turn it around like that and then the logo is gone and then reach reach to the back for the button so thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up